Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another Minecraft horror map. Today I'm playing a map called He's Present, although the file is called uh, uh, Horror Mappa. So I'm guessing that uh, this map is, uh, or the creator of this map is from a Spanish speaking country. Let's go ahead and start by reading the rules. First person, brightness of 50, mouse time to 100, one player map, chunks to nine, have fun. I guess I'll set my chunks to nine, but I will do nothing of the sort for the other things. He's present. So this is a Minecraft horror map where I guess we're really hungry and we want to eat at a restaurant. And so we go to the restaurant. See, this is the restaurant. Uh, but I guess the, the chef is not present. So we can't order the food. Oh, see? I guess, uh, whoops. Uh, we fell through the ground or something. Ventilation. Oh, can't go through the ventilation, though. Um, oh, wait, I guess I should go to the waiter, right? If I want to order food. Excuse me, sir. I would like to order some food. Sorry, sir. We don't have any food at the moment. There's no food. What do you mean you don't have food? This is a food restaurant as opposed to other types of restaurants. Well, our chef is not here right now. Is there a way to get food? I'm really hungry. Huh, there is one thing. You can go through this vent that leads to our kitchen. Is there any other way to get food? No. All right, unlock the vent. Okay, so I think this is like a... Uh, it's honestly from what I, I... Oh, wait, I don't know if I said this. It's based on a dream the map maker had once. Uh, anyway, I think this map is like a slowness, blindness, maze in the dark simulator, which is a collection of things I hate to see in Minecraft horror maps, so I don't believe I will enjoy this map a whole ton, but we will see. All right, we're going to do our best. Insert any item in here. How about a muffin? Oh, I have to sacrifice the muffin, I guess. That's a shame. Oh, yep. There's the blindness and the weakness and the slowness. So we have to avoid something. I guess that's it. Is that the chef? The chef is like the Grim Reaper. Okay. Ow. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so let's see if we can't uh, just leave. So we will need to hide in like certain spaces. Um, I'm guessing beelining it for the exit is not going to work. I'm also going to crank my headphones down a little bit. Okay, so you can hide in the tunnel. So we can go into here to hide from... Of the monsters, I guess. Or the singular monster. I don't know. Got my headphones turned down. Because I like to be able to hear myself talk. Okay. I should have just gone that way to begin with. I don't know if I need to hear footsteps or anything. But if I do, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Alright. We're through. To the next area. Okay. And as you can see... We need a, a key for a blue door now, or a lapis door, if you will. Did I hear something? I hear a spider. Interesting. Yeah, oh, there he is. Oh, there's all sorts of mobs. There's a mob school, as it were. People used to love to make mob schools. We also need a key for a gold door. Nice. I, uh, I was never big on, like, the mob school or... Uh, that sort of a concept. But I will say they were very, very popular. Um, so do I need to check, like, brewing stands or what? Because I... I want to, uh, you know, get skedaddling. I got to go get food at some point, I guess. Is that an LA? Oh, no, it's a, it's a ghost. Oh. So, oh, there's books on all of them. Okay, snow golem is a snow golem. Ghosts are found in mansions and prisons. Those are actually called vexes. Gray villager, the illager, can be found in mansions and woodland towers. This is the wither skeleton. It can be created by burning a skeleton. Not true, but that would be a, a cool thing. I'm sure people would find a nice way to make farms out of that. Enderman can be found anywhere. That is a truthful statement. The witch can be found uh, by making a villager get struck by a lightning bolt. That's factual. Zombie villager 
made by infecting a villager with the zombie virus. Yes, correct. The zombie pig dash man is created when a lightning bolt strikes a pig. Yes, did they spell lightning wrong? Yes. And lastly, we have the human, which gives us our lapis lever. Great. I think the lapis was over here, right? Yep. Cool. Oh, hey. L little toasty, wouldn't you say? Good sir. Why? Okay, I was going to say, why did I get in here? Block of gold. Cool. So, let's proceed through here. Oh, hey. I wish I could have taken that. That would have been funny. Oh, don't tell me. Uh, you know, I don't think I can go through there. But I'll remember that door if I, if I ever get the ability to cut through cobwebs or something. That's where I'm going to use it. That's just plain and simple, easy peasy. Where do you use that? Cobweb cutting ability? Boom, right there. Okay, great. That's a fake iron door. A false iron door. Nice, nice. And we'll proceed forth through a very long hallway. Oh, what time is it? It's backwards time. Ah, oh, dang, nabbit. Can it be uh, daytime now? Please. I wonder if this is being done by just re it's like having command blocks be like time set day, time set night, time set day, time set night. That'd be kind of cool. Um, otherwise, they could have just done it in the the Nether. Is that a good way to do it? I feel like okay. Well, I feel like going towards the exit is like what the map would expect out of me. Okay, so there's a a diamond door. Yes. Can I help you? I guess not. That probably opened the danger if I had to take a guess. I was correct. Oh. Here. Selling cheap junk. Could be quality. Oh. Oh, man. That could be quality. I, I wouldn't call it junk. I didn't really assess the, uh, the product too, too much, right? So I don't really know... I would call it junk. I got one out of 15 cookies. Hopefully that doesn't mean I'm 1 15th of the way through the map. I'm I'm, I'm about ready to uh, be getting a move on. Oh, I did not mean to go into the cold snow. Although, could be a good place for hiding something, you know? You can fall through the, the powder snow. There we go. I don't think it wanted me to get under there, but I did. All right. Oh, is there... No, no loot. Okay, we need a netherite key. This is honestly a huge map, man. I'm gonna get wicked lost. Okay, there's another cookie. That, none of that looks important. I'm not really gonna take things of unimportance. Or presumed unimportance, I guess I should say. Unless, you know, watch there be a door that's like, you need 10 fermented spider eyes to get through the door. Okay, there's the netherite key. Now it's like, where is the netherite key used? I think it was, I think I'm getting further away from it in all honesty. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Here it is. Okay, heat on. All right, cool. Uh, any ideas, guys, what I can do now, now that it's hot? Or hotter than it was, I guess I should say. We don't know how hot it is, but it's hotter than it was. The heat is on. I forgot these were even in the game. Dude, I haven't seen one of those potteries in forever. Or actually, ever. Not even in forever, literally ever. I have a I have a survival world that I play on in 1.20, or I guess it's 1.20.1 now. Um, but I uh, I have yet to like do anything with the like pottery shards or, or any of that, so I don't know, that's crazy. I forgot those were even in the game. Thank you, map, for showing me. Oh. How? Literally how? Okay. Now what? Do I have to start from the beginning? Surely not, right? 
all the way. You make me run all the way back there. That's so far. Just have a respawn point. That's crazy. I don't even hear or see. I mean, I was, I'm not really paying attention, truth be told. Uh, but I don't even know it was after me. I guess it's like kind of cool to know that there is in fact a threat. I'm gonna itch my eyeball. All right, diamond key, diamond key. That is the objective. I'm guessing. Oh. I did hear like footsteps. But, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. So there is casually a mob following. Now he's, all right, so now he's locked in there. I guess we can take that as a, as a plus, right? We do know like exactly where he is. It seems like it's just like an invisible mob with like a very large follow range. Would be my guess is how they went through and programmed it or added it into the game, I should say. Fun thing about Minecraft mobs is uh, back in the day, I used to do my fair share of like custom, not, not, not like custom mobbing or mob pro, custom mob featuring. But I used to, I used to make some, some, some like kind of cool-ish things. Is that the mob? I would, you know, put like armor on mobs and like, I hear him. He's like lurking, bro. I used to put custom armor and, and, and give them like more health or like advanced following range. And I would make some like, uh, some, some, I don't know. I thought they were kind of neat things from like other video games. I used to make like iron golems and make them aggressive towards the players and give them like thousands of health. And I would call them like the Mechon from Xenoblade Chronicles, the game for the Nintendo Wii. It's also on the Switch now. Um, yeah, all sorts of, all sorts of stuff like that. I would kind of like to, to set that stuff up for my friends on like a multiplayer server. It was pretty cool. They had fun with it. I had fun with it too. And I used to make up like stories and stuff as well. I was a big Mayanite watcher back in the day. Not even sure if uh, people really even like connect with Mayanite anymore these days. But uh, I mean that series hasn't existed for a while. But I don't know. It was cool in the day. All right. My days in the prison. Hi. My name is blah, 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 blah. I'm writing this book because I'm bored. I've been in this cell for about six days and I still don't know what I've, what I'm doing here. I've been captured by someone I call the lurker. The lurker is, well, I don't know what he is, but one thing's for sure he could, he's always watching. He could be right behind you right now or right. No, my apologies. His goals are unknown at, to me at the moment, but as far as I see, he's just a killer just for fun. A sneaky predator, always in the shadows, also mortal. Don't bother uh, to kill him. One more thing. I noticed he can change forms a few days ago i saw him being three meters tall the next day he was the size of a gnome so he can fit into small spaces pretty ridiculous if you ask me almost as ridiculous as putting this secret room with no uh items right there's i mean there's not a not a thing but what i guess is he can the mob that's like following us so i'm probably gonna run into like any second now because he's over here probably like a uh i mean what i tell you Probably like a wither skeleton and can also turn into like a baby zombie to fit into certain places. Um, I just want to know where the key is at this point, man. I, I, I do not care about wandering through this dark maze. I just, I know I have to finish this at this point because, you know, the viewers like you guys could be tuning into this video as like a video walkthrough, right? So you're going to want to know where to go and how to get everything and... It'd be wrong of me to just like spawn a lever in creative mode, but oh man, do I want to spawn a lever in creative mode. Okay, I set my spawn point. We'll see if that ends up working the way I foresee it work. Oh, you know, it would have been swell to have that be labeled. To have that be labeled as respawn point would have been hype or to have it be done automatically. See, I try and I try and cheat the game and, and stop me from having to do a eight mile walk and I should have just given it some credit, you know? I did get a spawn point. Just like I could have asked for. Okay, he used to be right here. So Oh. 
I hear him, but I don't know which side he's on. I've also explored this area extensively. Freaking extensively. So, like, I don't... I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore, man. Oh, hold on. There's another cookie. 12 of 15 cookies. I'm really feeling like the cookie thing's got some merit. By the way. I'm just... I'm feeling like it's, uh... It's get the cookies, and then you'll get the item. But, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep wandering. I don't really know. I don't really have much else to say, truthfully, at this point. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. This room is pointless, right? There's nothing in here? Oh. Nope, there's my 13th cookie. Alright, two more. Alrighty, I have discovered some things, and I'm ready to report on said things. First thing... We do need 15 cookies to get the key. Second thing, I know where the cookies are. Uh, are we getting spawn camped? That's swell. Um, you know. Oh, oh, okay. You know, I, uh, been playing this for a little while and playing is a bit of a loose term as you can see uh here in my inventory or my my chat so we're just gonna oop all right so here's where the keys are the cookies i'm is he gone now oh he's kind of gone his name's garheel by the way like garfield but not quite all right, well, Mr. Garheel, sure, it's chilling there. All right, he's in there now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off. All right, so there's a cookie in here. Boop. The other cookie is this away. Round here, through here, Bing, in here, in here, and there's the fifteenth cookie. Great. I wouldn't be surprised if this spawns like eight of the guys now. But we're through. We did it. We can buy our lever. Oh. What was that? Is that the danger? Oh my gosh. He broke free. For the sake of the map, I'll do this. Now we have the blindness, slowness, etc. back. Like I said at the top of the video. I'm not one for, for a maze. Great. Find the new exit. I'm not one for a maze, and it seems like there's a bit more to this map uh, than meets the eye. So, no, dude. No way. It's another maze. Dude. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if it's possible for me to explain how much I dislike mazes in Minecraft maps. I've explained it a handful of times on the channel, uh, just in, in different Minecraft horror map videos, uh, but I'll explain it here again. Uh, I don't like a Minecraft maze in a horror map. I don't like a Minecraft maze in general. I don't like a maze in a horror map because what a maze is to me is the map maker saying, Oh man, the map's too short. I need to keep the player in one small area doing the same task repeatedly over and over again for an extended period of time. So I'll build a maze. And then they build a maze and it's just a way to expand the amount of time the player spends in a certain area. I just don't really like it that much. So uh, I tend to speak out I don't. I like. I say speak out like I'm. I'm a brave soul. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not really into the mazes, of of the Minecraft world. Darn! I thought that would be an escape. Especially when there's slowness and blindness mazes, man. Here we go. We're just gonna finish this real quick. Because look, I mean, this is not. Uh, 
This is not content. The, the only reason this takes so long is because you have, like, move at one walking speed. It's crazy. So I guess the objective here is to find all the different fake exits, and then the real exit will unlock. So let's just do that real quick. See how fast I can get through this, man? Oh, man. We're, we're, we're blazing now. There we go. I don't know how many fake exits we have to find, but now that I can move fast, we're going to have a much easier time doing so. A much, much easier time. See? Oh, man. Of course, this was all made with the intention of not seeing it. This is like, uh, what I'm doing right now is like going to Disneyland and getting stuck on a ride. So they have to turn the lights on to let you out of the ride. But you're obviously not supposed to see it. And you can see like all like the, the wires and stuff that they use on the, the animatronics and, and whatnot. That's what we're doing right here. Uh, but holy buckets, is it, this is just feels so much more, so much more. It feels much more. I never went up the stairs over here. Oh, wait, no, these stairs. Wait, I have been... I mean, I've been down these stairs. Okay, is this door gonna open for me now? Or what? Did I not find enough exits? Are there more exits to find? I can't sprint. Alright, I think I found the other exit. Again, I'm just... At this point, I would have scrapped this video entirely, but I'm keeping it going for the sake of making a walkthrough. For anyone else who, uh... Who, who plays this. But you go all the way over here, and there's the exit. Is that the final exit, though? That is the question. We do not know. We will have to find out by dropping down here. It is open to... Oh, get out of here. I think you might have just spawned, by the way. Oh my gosh, it's another maze. It's another maze. That's bonkers. I'm just... flabbergasted. Look, and I, I made it through instantly! I mean, granted, I am able to sprint, but... Bro. These freaking mobs. I think it just spawned again? No, it didn't. Maybe it did. Oh, oh, there he is! I see him! Get me out. What is this? Exit, but it's locked again. Doors. 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 This would take years if I were... Okay. I probably ran too fast. That was actually my own bad. See, by removing the blindness and being able to sprint, I was able to sprint too close to him. So do I, I run now, I guess, to the exit? He's chasing. He's giving chase! I hope I'm running away from him and not towards him. I'm, I was running the wrong way. I was, go I was going the wrong way. So do I need to turn around? Or am I running towards him again? Did I make the same mistake twice? I definitely made the same mistake twice. That's actually kind of funny, though. I'll just restart. Jeez, man. What am I doing? And that's, that's, okay. Great. Is it a maze again? No, not really a maze. More of just running like, like drills at like a soccer practice. Oh, good. Blind parkour. The best kind. Making you do two block jumps like we're playing. Why is there parkour in my horror map? That's one of my, uh. Famous lines, by the way, y'all. I'm not doing it. I refuse. I wholeheartedly refuse. I vehemently refuse to do blind parkour. No way, man. Jeez. This is... This is something else. I mean, most people are, are bad at parkour to begin with. And there's so much blind parkour you'd have to do as well. This is, like, kind of a lot. And granted, I think at this point, I don't even think the guy is chasing you anymore. But, like, you got the intense music going. Honey block parkour? That's crazy. I am honestly so surprised. 
That is insane to me. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's just... Holy... This is... I mean, as an escape sequence, it's like... I guess kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm just so, so turned off by the map at this point. This is like a... Dude, this is like an old-fashioned, like, Indiana Jones map. Can you imagine having to do this, but you're also blind? Hey, how's it going? I'll see you later. Honest question. How is it not over yet? How are we not done? How okay, this surely this is it. I see the little guy back there. Okay, boom, freedom, right? Thank heavens. I've been recording for 40 minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to be, hopefully less than 40 minutes. Um, you know, there have been a lot of Minecraft horror maps coming out lately. And for a while, we were in a real dry spell where like no maps were coming out. And I like that maps are coming out again. Um, but I... I I don't think this map was for me. I was never really a fan of like the Slender the Eight Pages style maps where you're just wandering around finding items, running from a, a guy. And that's what all this map was. So it, it wasn't really made for me. I, I feel bad criticizing it, but I think a lot of, in my mind, what I see in this map, because obviously a lot of work went loan into it. Look at all the command blocks and the redstone and stuff. But I think some of the gameplay decisions was a little lacking. I think anytime you're forcing your player to blindness, slowness, walk through a maze is just padding the game. And we had to do it in this area. We had to do it in this area. We had to do it in this area. And then what it turns into is like some weird like parkour gauntlet which doesn't really fit the horror theming at all. I get we're running from something, but why do we have to precision jump on iron bars? And then like, you know, and then like precision crawling as well. I don't know. The other thing I'm, I'm going to mention is what I mentioned to a lot of Minecraft uh, horror map developers, and that is you should take your map, send it to a friend or a sibling or someone, have them play through it. And when they're done, ask them, what is the story of the map? Because I don't understand how we go from the restaurant to like gosh darn catacombs, right? And then this part at the end right here, like what is what is the this supposed to to be? I don't get what we're what we drop into here, right? We go out of the chef's catacombs into someone's house and they're like bouncing, and then we go back into the catacombs, and then we're free. That's a question of mine but uh it was a a made map it was a map that was published on minecraftmaps.com and so i played it uh, but ladies and gentlemen that is going to be all for now i want to thank you all so so much for watching if you have enjoyed please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think you would enjoy it it means a lot to me and you guys spread my videos around and i'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video until then as always, take care.